Yo, what's good you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about the latest box office for the weekend. Hello everyone, if you're new here, let me just do a quick introduction. I'm KB Productions. I talk about movies and any other entertainment related stuff, but mainly movies. And today I'm going to talk about the latest box office news. So let's look at the latest weekend for the box office. At number one, we have The Nun 2, which by the way was not surprising because this is part of a major franchise, The Conjuring. So I did a comparison between the opening weekend for the first Nun film and the second Nun film. And I also looked at their budgets. Surprisingly, the first Nun film had a lower budget but made more money at the box office in the opening weekend. Whereas this Nun film, the second one, the sequel, has a, a bit more of a higher budget, but still it made lower, it made about twice lower than the first one did. I think this is mainly because of the reception that the first one got where it was not really that good. So probably the opening weekend here wasn't that strong and it could also be due to competition. Yeah, okay, Barbenheimer is slowly fizzling out at the box office, although it's still holding very strong. But the Equalizer 3 just came out recently last week. So that could be a reason why this film is really struggling quite at the box office. But nonetheless, these are some great numbers, especially for the budget of this film. These are really some great numbers. And the reviews for this film seem to be more positive than the first Nan film. So I have no doubt that the weekend drops for this film will be quite low compared to the first film. The total amount of money this movie makes at the box office could still be quite close to the one that the first Nan film made. At number two, we have The Equalizer Part 3, the new Denzel Washington film. Denzel Washington, he's an icon in the film industry. And this is his third film in a very popular trilogy now. And it's a 65% drop. Let's talk about 65% first. Now 65% was... Now 65% is actually not a very good number in my opinion. But, but... It's still making a lot of money at the box office. I think at some point it will catch up to the Equalizer Part 2 in terms of the total global box office. And it could have a huge drop due to the fact that the Nun Part 2 just came out. So many people could have gone to watch that film. So the Equalizer Part 3 is having a really suffering when it comes to holding on strong, having strong legs at the box office right now. But nonetheless, it's still doing quite well at the box office. Let's compare how the other two Equalizer films did when it came to the second weekend drop. Uh, the Equalizer Part 1 had a great legs, had some great legs and held on strong to the second weekend. The Equalizer Part 2 had a very similar number in drop compared to Equalizer Part 3 but still a bit lower and Equalizer Part 3 now. I heard this is going to be the last Equalizer film. I don't think there'll be any more but still I think this will make a ton of money. Number 3, My Big Fat Greek Wedding Part 3 which I didn't even know about this trilogy at all. I mean, for its $18 million budget, 10 million is quite good for an opening weekend number. As long as it has a good drop, it's go ahead already. And I've also looked at the opening weekend for the second film of this trilogy. It earned $17 million. That's a tad bit higher compared to this one. So it's kind of a improvement, but still, for its budget, I think it will do well. And I hope Hollywood learns as well, especially now that there's a writer's strike going on and Hollywood is losing a lot of money where I heard like Warner Brothers is especially Warner Brothers and Disney are losing a lot of money. So I hope these studios learn that you don't need a high budget film to make a lot of profit. You can make smaller budget films and still make a lot of profit out of them. Like I think my big fat Greek wedding part 3 is going to come with some profit for the company. At number 4, Jawan. A new film from India, directed by Atli, and it stars Shah Rukh Khan. I heard this kind of a reprising role for Shah Rukh Khan, where he's once again fantastic. So it earned six million dollars in the domestic box office and three million dollars in overseas. That's a really good number. Total, it's at ten point eight million dollars. So I still hold on to my opinion that I think because of how popular RRR was, now Indian films are getting more recognition. We saw that with the previous Indian films which surprisingly earned quite a bit of number, the US box office, because I really think that RRR did a lot of hard work for this film. So thank you, SS Rajamoli. Atli should also thank this man when it comes to the US box office. This is Atli's latest film. So other films that he has done is this divorce movie. And then I've seen this movie called Terry. I've seen this movie called Marcel. And I've also seen this movie with female soccer players. And I sadly forgot the name of the two movies, but I've seen them, so I will probably go see this one, see what I think about it. Barbie, not surprising, is still holding on very strong, but 44% drop is quite 
it's only okay. I would say it's only okay. But let's look at how this film has been doing so far. It has been doing excellent at the box office. It is now very close to being one of the highest grossing movies of all time. Like it's already in the top 20 highest grossing films of all time already. And this film is still going on. The, and, and the funny part is, Warner Brothers actually said that they're going to release this film in digital soon. And it's still earning a lot of money. The drops are still very good for this film. It's a huge win for Greta Gowie. It's a huge win for Margot Robbie, who, who has had some failings in the past. But this film really saved her. I think this will make her an even bigger star than she already is. Greta Gowie, this is clearly her highest grossing film, of course. And it's also going to make her more popular as a female director as well because, again, highest grossing female director film. I can't wait to see how this film does at the Oscars. And Blue Beetle, it did not have that high of a budget, all right? Its budget was only 104 million. As compared to previous comic book films, this the, the budget for this one was actually pretty low. But because of the strikes that are going on, Hollywood stars are not allowed to promote their films. And therefore, this film didn't do so well because of the Hollywood strikes, how they are affecting this film. And Warner Brothers is also losing a lot of money right now. If it's a f below 50%, I would say it's doing quite well, but the opening weekend of this film already didn't do so well. So I wouldn't say it's doing right, very well right now. I don't think this film is going to profit at all. And let's see how it goes for Warner Brothers from now on. Grand Turismo, not bad, 47% drop. It has a $60 million budget, $93.5 million at the global box office. Now I'm a bit tentative to say whether this film will make a profit. Like previous discussions, I've said that this film will make profit, but now I'm a bit tentative on it. Like, will this film make a profit? I don't know. But it seems to be doing really well. It just needs a, it just needs a bit of luck and an extra push. That's all it needs to make that profit. Oppenheimer, of course, we cannot talk about Barbie without talking about Oppenheimer. They come together, Barbenheimer, they really come together. And it's doing quite well also, just like Barbie. 46% drop, that's an excellent drop. And again, just like Barbie, it is the highest drop that we have seen so far in a long time for this film. Let's see if this film makes a billion dollars. It's at $891 million globally. It has already earned $46.9 million in China. You might be asking, why am I talking about China all of a sudden? Because just think, it just got recently released in China. Last week, I mean two weeks before, sorry, I said that this film will not hit a billion, but it will come close to a billion. However, last week, last weekend, it got released in China and made over $20 million. And that's a pretty good number. And I was saying that it made over $20 million, so it might make over a billion because China might just give it that extra push to a billion. And now it's still doing quite well in China. So let's see if China can really give that this film the, the extra small push that it needs. I mean, the US and every part of the world already gave it a big push already. And Barbenheimer also gave it a big push already to the box office to about 800 plus million, which will be Nolan's third highest grossing film. Now, now this film is being played in China. So let's see if China can give it that extra push. Number nine, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Hey, for its $70 million budget, $161 million point globally is pretty good. I think if it continues to go this route, it might make a profit. So it's definitely gonna make a profit. Good job to the animators. I think this film was really done well. It really, I heard from TMNT fans that this is one of the best, one of the better Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. So it really respected the fan base and Again, it's going to make a profit. I can see it coming. Bottoms and MGM film, by the way, MGM, they don't seem to be doing really good right now, that studio, but still, they're still doing well. Bottoms is a low budget film and it's a low budget comedy film. And even though it's not earning a lot of money, it's still doing well for its budget. It has a $11.3 million budget and globally it's a $7.6 million and this is only the second weekend. So again, just needs a bit of luck, you'll make a profit. We have some, we had some surprises like Jawan, but at the same time, we also have certain films that really need that extra small push to make that profit, such as Gran Turismo, as well as Bottoms, the MGM film. Thanks for watching, you guys are always the best.